Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Adam. This is HMO4 Gaming. Welcome you to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Kingdom Come Deliverance was a Kickstarter program way back in, I think, in 2014, 2015, around there. That definitely met its goal. And uh, in 2018, I think early 2018, I think February, uh, came to consoles, PS4, Xbox, PC, and uh, was kind of, well, let's be honest, it got like mid-praise. It was definitely good for what it is, definitely had some technical issues, but if you got past a lot of that, it was definitely a gem that was worth picking up at the time. I did pick it up at the time, actually. I played it, I got relatively far, and then I kind of stopped. I think I got like maybe 20, 30 hours into it, so I'm familiar with the beginning, but I hope with this Let's Play that I have on my channel, we dive a little bit deeper, go into a lot of the systems, go into the story, uh, steal a bunch of stuff from peasants, and the like. And if you're excited for that, please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. And we're just going to start a new game. I do have some playthroughs, so you can just disregard there. I think, yeah, that 24 and a half hours. So we'll overwrite that from 2020. I recently just started again just to get familiar with everything. But for this playthrough, let's get started in Playline 1. And as we go through, I'm going to play the little intro video for you before we get into game proper. And we're just going to play it on normal mode. Definitely don't want to do hardcore mode. I do not know this map good enough. God help you if you decide to do hardcore from the start. Basically, you don't get a... Well, you get a map. A map. Like, you're going back in, in the day with the map. There's no map markers or nothing. You have to know everything off of, you know, landmarks. Not fun. Plus all the negative perks if you want all the trophies slash achievements. Um, yeah, we're not going to be doing that for... The time being, we're just going to be normal Henry mode. Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins.
same to you. Today's a scorch. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> you go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. I don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. Quest started. Unexpected morning. visit. What on earth As we're finally into night? actual game um, proper. So, characters by mean of two choices in their dialogue. You select characters' default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, don't worry. All characters will be further developed without limitations. So, these are your basic stats. Obviously, speech, talking, bartering, agility, jumping, going faster, vitality, health. Being able to hold specific weapons and strength, also again, damage dealt, being able to use specific weapons. For the purposes of this, uh, I was with Bianca. I was with Bianca? Uh, we were, talking. Um, talking? <laughs> talking, were you? That's what you call it, is it? Stop it, Ma. Well, I and we got a new level and mortality. some vitality. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that's we'll get to that in due time. Character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Yeah, we'll definitely be looking at him. And again, just for this uh, situation, I was with Bianca. I was with Bianca. Do you want a blow-by-blow -blow account of everything we did? What's this? An interrogation? All right, all right. Sorry, son. It's just that I worry about you. Thanks, Ma, but I'm not four years old. I know, Hal. You've grown up in front of my eyes. It's hard to get used to it. And with the amount of um, speech and bartering we're going to do, we don't have to really worry about that. Strength, we have ways to do that, and we should be fine. Uh, have my friends been here? Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. And I do want to point out, so definitely any dialogue choice that we have, definitely go through them. Any, you know, non grayed out ones, go through them. Because in the background, if you're on PC, I'm sure there's a mod for this, you get XP for everything. So if I just said, oh, leave it be, mother, it would give us a little bit of speech um, XP. Mother... Obviously, I'm on Xbox, so we ain't going to get that. Man, <laughs> Sorry. Would be Father nice, but, you know, you this is what we got. Soon. You've been caught in that Bianca for months now. Why do you have to keep wasting your time with those two layabouts? They're nothing but trouble. I'm hungry. Can I get something to eat? 
I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. <laughs> She's very happy to tell us that. Is Pa angry with me? Is Father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratsik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. I also want to point out that I thought like there was something wrong with my headphones. There, there, there was an echo or something, but it's because we're inside. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. And all dialogues are good, so... We finally get control of Henry. And we can look at Henry's stuff for right now. Oh, I keep forgetting it's the D-pad. So we got our map, our objectives. I like how it's a nice hand-drawn map that they use, not like something computer-generated. Fast travel point. We're here in the town of Scallets. We can head back and see our stats. So this is our main stat screen. You can see all of our stuff, main level two, our melee, body armor, health, nutrition, conspicuous, strength, agility. With hitting those two uh, vitality checks, we get a free two points in that, which again, is gonna be very helpful for what we need to do. And here's just all of our stuff. Door keys, kind of just like a key ring. I'm pretty sure it just leads to our doors. And we got really nothing else. Player, main level, some of the nice things we can get. Oh, I can actually take a perk right now if I really wanted to. Uh, less hungry, as soon as you get hungry, the effects will last. No, manly odor, no. Night rider, no. You definitely don't want to be riding out at night. Obviously, it's the medieval 1400s. And riding at night would probably be a very bad idea. And the beds, it's kind of blah. It just cuts down on the amount of sleep that you would eventually need, so it's kind of pointless. So I think Scout probably would be good for now. I don't really like any of these other ones. Granted, we're not going to be fast traveling for a while, but eh, we can at least take our first perks. And we have a Vitality perk. So Method Man, you run slower, but keep it up for longer. Your sprint speed is 20% slower, but demands 20 less stamina. Oh, so I'd be able to sprint longer, but we do it slowlier. Slowlier? Slowlier. You can run faster, but also tire faster. Sprinting is 20% faster, but costs 20% more stamina. Can't be content... Uh, and thick blood. You bleed slower. <laughs> Which, we don't want to be bleeding a lot, so we don't want to do that. I feel like, yeah, our stamina, we're a peasant, so I don't think we're going to be like a world-class athlete. But I think we would like to... Uh, sprint a little bit imagine that was terrible probably and then our speech we got all that charisma vitality conspicuous noise speed just tells you all that uh, speed determines how fast you can walk run sprint it's derived from your agility and overall encumberment so how much crap we have noise is determine your clothes and you know how dark or light they are and conspicuous measure of how stand out in normal environments whether or not people who will look twice it depends on your clothing Visibility, basically the color, clothing, enemy spot, all that fun stuff. Combat, eh, we'll get into combat a little bit. All of our different skills. Alchemy, which back in the day here is probably considered witchcraft. Drinking, of course there's a drinking tree, which definitely does have some pretty good perks. I don't know if I can find it now. I think it's, uh, oh, it's in the lock picking tree. Herbalism, Horseman, Houndsman, which is DLC, which was added to the game. Hunting, Lockpicking, Maintenance, Pickpocking, Reading, Stealth, and those are main stats. Yes, there is a reading skill. We don't know how to read, so hopefully maybe I can find a book before we learn how to read to show you why you need to learn how to read relatively fast. Current buffs and debuffs. Henry is hungry, so your stamina is decreased and eventually you'll start losing health. Reputation, I have very good reputation with the villagers of Scallets. Hopefully I can keep it. And then here's all your general know-how and all that fun stuff. Sidekick would be your horse or dog, but we don't have that yet. 
map codex if you're interested in reading the lore and definitely take a look at that it's very good i like you know there's a whole page on all that land army uh, municipal finances basically if you don't know anything about the medieval time and are interested you know take a little bit i'll probably eventually uh read through a lot of these probably if uh i you know indulge myself in reading through all this i'd probably improve the let's play on just knowing some key terms henry is now background we all right and that's that and with any town there's this mysterious pot of somethingness most towns most camps have that mysterious pot so you can take that or you just take all the food that's here granted i'm not going to really be taking this food to necessarily eat because you know food does go bad but i am going to take it just for selling purposes get some money get some uh some speech just from selling a bunch of stuff and i'm sure there's some traders that would love it now if our mom had anything to say she'd be like what the hell are you doing why are you uh just randomly i'm just gonna put this giant bowl of soup in my pocket don't forget the stuff in this chest that's a quest item, but we're just going to get it now. Bandages, so in case we do find ourselves bleeding uh, at 30 minutes of health despite hangover. Cancel the effect to Lazarus. And we got some Savior Schnapps, which this was one of those things when the game first came out that was super highly controversial. Um, yeah, so if you wanted to save anywhere, you'd need this specific item in order to save. If you didn't have that item, the only thing you can do is save in beds. So, if you wanted to save the game, you have to go to sleep. If you're out in the field and you died, welp. <laughs> it's either you use a save your schnapps so you don't lose anything, or you uh, just start at your last save. Which, you know, being even at that time 2018, that was kind of controversial for a game to do that. And again, you might be asking, uh, Adam, doesn't uh, Henry's family need that food for like, the winter that might be coming this is medieval times aren't you dooming your parents to die you would think um but no we are definitely not uh i am setting them up for their future they're setting me up i should say they're setting henry up so that he he is able to survive the real world and that's exactly what they're doing for him he's gonna need all this and he's gonna need all this money so that's what we're doing I think I took everything, right? Yes. So, you're probably wondering why I'm doing all this. Obviously, the story will uh, tell you that for you. So, uh, we'll get to that in time. And as you can imagine, there's another food pot out here if you uh, want. Also, also, I thought that was on. We could talk to our father. He's going to give us our first introductory quest to get some things for him. I guess we can get that started. It doesn't really hurt that you uh, don't or not. You can ignore him. You just go wherever. He will yell at you later. He'll be like, Jesus Christ, Henry, where the hell did you go? Yeah, I like that about this game. You do have some time limits on some quests. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me call? Oh, he's already yelling at us. And persuasion. Your simple speech skill, however influenced by reputation, you'll have the moment the person you're talking to. And the little heart crown thing in the Middle Ages. Social status was paramount. So the quality of your attire and how well groomed you are together with your reputation can make a big difference in how people respond to you. If you look dangerous, you probably are dangerous. People will be afraid to cross you. Also willing to assist risky tasks to you. That's influenced mainly by your strength and the deterrent effects of your weapons and equipment. But other things are also taken into account such as blood stains on your clothes. Just generally, if you're an overall badass, that's what you want to take. You can also bribe. You can just give people money. You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you. You just have to agree on a persua persuasive sum. Bribing people works in the same way as shopping, see trade and haggling. In special cases, you'll try other skills such as horsemanship. It's not only the manner of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer. Because sometimes it's not enough just to choose according to your highest characteristics you have to really read what you're going to say. Which, again, is pretty cool. And here's persuasion, how all that works. Obviously, if you're 
um, bartering. You see the amount that you have to pay, 17. The amount you have, 55. And then you see how the strength wheel goes up. Your reputation is there. So this specific Henry right here has a terrible reputation. Their speech scale is 3. Their social status is a 7. And their combat is a 2. So obviously... You don't know what the guard's speech skill is, so that would be kind of a risk doing that. You can definitely go to his social status, because you're currently at a 7, the guard's only at a 5. And combat, well obviously Henry's only at a 2, the guard's at a 3, so that would fail. So in that specific situation, you'd probably want to pick the little heart crown to pass that speech check. Essentially how that works. So for us, we're at a 7, I'm not exactly sure what's going to pass. Our speech skill's at 1, definitely don't do that. So, I think, sorry, Dad. I wanted to have a look around. Sorry, Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. How, my boy? When are you going to Which get is sense? pretty good for video game logic. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money, then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? <laughs> that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasal. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. So the game doesn't specifically tell you. Um, yeah, make sure the last thing you do is the ale. Because, you know, the game's not kidding. You can definitely get some more XP by bringing them some cold ale. Everything else, it doesn't really matter. That's not really time sensitive. So I also want to point out that, you know, you could just do this quest and do everything and that's fine. But then you'd be missing out on all the trail trails, trinkets and treasures and opportunities, we'll say, that's here in the tutorial town of Scalots. And we'll get into some of those things. Just because we're here, the cross guard, it's up the way here by the castle, the nice battlements up here, Sir Razik's castle, and we can go up here and talk to, I don't know if these guys are our friends or we just know everybody in town. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? I might. Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sasal. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? <sighs> when should <laughs> I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Cross guard for the new sword. All right. So for right now, we'll just go through and do a lot of the quests. Obviously, we can sprint. Let's see how great that sprint is. I can't really tell if we're going any faster or not, to be honest, but whatever. Alright. And as our mother told us, there was a shady character um, around the town center. 
He's right over here on the bench, kind of right outside the tavern. And he could give us a slight um, tutorial about combat. Hey, Pitt, combat Master Vinyak. Yes, I do. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Let's do it. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. And like I said, if you just do the quest and that's it, I mean, nothing tells you to come over here. Your mother kind of, you know, the whole game kind of says, how did you get that mark? I was training with some dude. And here's the dude. But you don't necessarily have to come up and talk to him and ask him for additional lessons. I mean, you could just do the quest and that's it. If you're a super RPG person. Also, here's the path. I like how there's a path in the grass that leads right up here. He has to walk himself up here. So I guess we'll just have to wait for him to get his ass up here. Combat arena. And you could. Also, this game kind of does the whole oblivion thing. That you get vitality XP just from jumping around. So you could, you know, jump around everywhere. It is. It does give you vitality XP, which... If you're not really doing anything and you're just going to an objective, yeah, might as well just hop fences and jump around. Obviously, you have to watch the, your stamina bar, the yellow bar there at the bottom, come back eventually, but eh. Just getting vitality XP. Nothing too crazy. Hello, boy. I don't know why I said boy. What up, bruh? So, can we get started? Yeah, man. Done. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Alright, and we can get into probably one of the controversies of this game on top of, you know, the saving was combat is brutal. You actually have to watch your opponent. Like, obviously, you know, look around, use the stick to do whatever. If you want to unlock, press B to run away. And then you can just right, get back right. engaged with them. Try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. And obviously you you're trying to, to hit... Try See, his sword is side. like this over here. So I'm on his side. So obviously we're going to try and hit his blind side. Yeah. Obviously he's going to try and go for it. And right yeah. now we're just striking. Very good. Just basic yeah. hit the button. Good. And obviously we're using a uh, wooden sword, so don't have to worry about getting damage or anything. And now we can use RB, which if they don't have any, you know, head armor, you can poke your sword in their face and that can do a lot of damage. But of course, if they have a helmet on, that's not going to really help that much. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat, but if you chain your strikes... I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Very good. And obviously you have to watch because your stamina goes down. Good. Again. And obviously as you unlock them, different, you know, combinations. The game will tell you exactly how to do each. All right, that's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember, though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. And that's it. He'll go back to wherever and that's it. So that just gives you a brief combat tutorial. Obviously the game is going to give you a little formal or one with a better teacher down the line. 
But if you know, if you're interested in knowing how combat works, that's a nice brief introduction. All right, so I want to save the ale for last because again, we don't really need that. And obviously, all the town folk know me because it's a really small town. It's the medieval time, so surprise, surprise, everybody knows who I am. Over here's where Kunish is. I don't think we're going to be strong enough to fight him. We do have some good vitality, but I think our strength is kind of lacking. Where is his dumbass? So he's going to be a crotchety old fool. Hello, dude. God be with you, Kunish. He's you not want? going to be very happy with us. Father sent me for the money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Yeah, he's gonna give us a hard time. Could you pay for the tools at I least? You owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. All right, well, unfortunately, we could fight him, which I feel like we should. He definitely doesn't have any social upscanning because he's a rapscallion, so I don't really have to worry about that. And, or I could just, you know, tell your father that Kunesh is being an asshole, and that could if you're doing a pacifist, you know, that, that is an option. You look like a weenie, but, you know, that is, a, that is something that you can do. I must have We're going to fight him. <laughs> it sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal we not ain't a weenie. Your debts and then try to scare me, would you? you son of a whore. Yeah, I didn't think that How would work. I don't know why we lost reputation by talking to a drunkard. Tough, matters. but whatever. No, well, I'll teach you then. Sure. All right, so he's well. gonna fight us. So we're gonna have to watch, try and uh. Yeah, basically tutorial hook strong, basically just like how we did with the sword. LT to kick opponent away, lock on, unlock, block, yeah. So it's going to be rather tough. <laughs> Damn. I'm not very good at hand-to-hand -hand fighting, so this might be rather tough. I'm over here. Yeah, especially when he can just do that. Take that! Wait, hold on. I have an idea. Henry, turn around. No! No, no. Run away. Run, Henry, run. What's the matter, Cap? God, he runs way after me. Oh, there we go. I'm on a hill. Come on. God damn. Oh dear, did that hurt? Come on, buddy. Keep my hands up. I actually gained a perk and unarmed for doing that. I'm just gonna keep blocking. Get a warfare perk for that too. I'm trying to beat him here. Don't want my first battle to be blah. Go away, buddy. Get away. I hate how he's able to block that. Nope, I lost. I gave it a good shot. It coming, you pup. And your old man can fuck off too. Alright. So we did get some points, so we didn't exactly, you know, embarrass ourselves, I guess I should say. So, just so we don't die, let's go get patched up from our mother. It's kind of funny how Henry talks to his mom in this instance, so I'm kind of happy this was the outcome, just so he could show off this master class of dialogue that Henry has with his mother. So let's see, where's she at? Where's my ma? Hello? Where is she? Oh no! 
Henry's gonna die if he can't find his mother. Where the hell is she? Oh no, she's not here. Oh, well, Henry's done. Guess he's gonna die. I guess she's probably in town. Oh no. And you could tell your dad too, but I feel like there's another alternative that I can do as well. Hopefully I can find out where she is. Oh yeah, that's her. Here we go. Master class dialogue right here. Ma! Ma? <laughs> I'm all effed up. <laughs> Won't stop bleeding. I'm bleeding all over my clothes. Stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. I'm still covered in blood, though. All right. And we could go back and fight him, but I feel like there's something else we can do for now. Like, clean off all this blood from ourselves. Where the hell? Let me see here. Where can I... There's a trowel around here somewhere, which they're scattered around the towns. Oh, here we go. I can wash the blood off myself. So let's see. Is the blood off me? Yep, there we go. All the blood's off me. And that helps with our social standing. Boy, fighting with Kunesh got almost up to level... Like, halfway to level 3. Uh, carrying dead bodies, blocking opponent strikes with your shield. I don't know if we're going to have a shield for a while, so carrying dead bodies is probably a good idea. And like I said, we could go back and keep fighting Kunish until we overcome him, but I don't think we're going to do that for now. So, like I said earlier in the video, there is a bunch of things that we could do around town to help us, I guess you would say. Uh, you know, getting our warfare skill, stealth, herbalism, we can do a bunch of stuff. So I'm just going to briefly showcase some of that. So, we did have those savior schnapps that we found in the trunk. I'm just going to briefly use one of those right now. Just to have this save right here, because what we're going to do is kind of sketchy. See this guard right here, particularly this guard, he's not very... He doesn't have a lot of armor like all the other ones. We're gonna attempt to basically knock him out and steal all of his stuff so we can have access to some weapons in order to improve our skills. So obviously for right now though, I have to wait for some of these people to go away. Case in point, this lady right here. Um, because I need to knock out this guard and I need there not to be people around. So go away, lady. As the, you know, thing is kind of woobling a little bit because the Savior Schnapps is an alcohol. And alcohol begins to act gradually, giving my speech and everything a bump. What is this lady right here doing? She needs to go away. Maybe if I just run right into her. Go away. Yeah, send you on your way. Hello, Mr. Guard. Now, we're not going to kill the guard. We just need stuff off of him really quick. If I can get there. Oh, I failed. And because we have that save, let's just retry until we don't fail. All right, and after many attempts... Oh, no. This lady... I swear to God, if that lady comes over here. Okay, don't come over here. Also myself. Mr. Adam over there. Just going to steal all and run away. Alright, no one saw that. I am over encumbered. It's okay, because I have a way to deal with that. I can't tell you how many times I had to reset and how many times I got caught. Because if you get caught right now you're kind of screwed and you don't want to do that and I don't want to use all of my savior schnapps so now that we have all of his stuff I'm gonna sneakily go back to my parents place and stow it away for the future we'll say it'll become clear as we go through the game all right and this chest right here pretty much uh, from what we have here I don't think we're really gonna need any of that the axe, we can get some decent XP for that. Bandages, yeah. We need the hunting arrow. We have to sell all this food. 
can't really do anything with this sword for right now, but we'll have it. And what can we use? Minimum agility is nine, so we can't even use it, so it's kind of pointless to keep. Uh, minimum agility is six, so again, it's kind of pointless. Just making sure we're just stowing away anything that's kind of stolen, just so uh, things don't come back to bite us. We're going to keep the bow, because we're definitely going to want that. And the axe. There we go. Better hunting arrows. So hopefully... And now we have 59 out of 74. But Henry can equip our bow. Where the hell is it? Equip the bow. There we go. Now Henry's got some bows. So with that, you know, we can now work on our archery a little bit. And I can show that off. And then, as before we wrap up, I'll show some of the minor things that you could do in between. Some of those things is if you want to work on strength, you can go back and forth and punch horses. Watch out for this guy. He should be easy enough to knock out. Most peasants are. You just have to watch you don't get too close to the guards up there or else you're screwed. Like I said, you can definitely, there's probably so many videos that you can max your stats out here in Scallets. But the trick is to not get caught or seen because if you do, you're screwed and that kind of gets um, ridiculous. One of the other things I would want to point out, which is hilarious, that if you get up here and get in his little truck here, hold on. Let me just jump back up here, because Henry is an athlete. At least right now, he's probably the world-class athlete as he is. If you can get in his little truck right here, um, you're good. Pretty much. I mean, as long as the guard doesn't have a bow and arrow, people with swords, they, uh... They can't hit you because you're in an object that they can't reach. So, I mean, the only thing you'd have to worry about is uh, archers, which is kind of hilarious. If you want to work on those bows, you got the uh, sheep up here. You have no arrows. I definitely do. Oh, did I put them away? No, right here. There we go. And I'm pretty sure we can use this bow, because this is why I recommend getting the agility in the beginning. Uh, let me see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no. We need a strength of four and an agility of three to use this. So I got the agility, but I still need another two things in strength. All right. Well, well I feel like I'm just going to show some of this stuff off. I'm not actually going to do it. So, in order to get the strength, again, you can go around punching cows, which I don't really feel like doing, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, you, it is a good way to get up some levels. And since I have this bow and arrow, you can definitely do that as well. On the flip side, some other skills that you can get up. Like I said, you can get the swords that I stole Basically, whack them around, damage them, go up to the grindstone up by your dad's forge, work on your maintenance skill, um, alcohol, you just drink a bunch of booze that you can find. Or my personal favorite, let me put away my bow for a second because I don't really need it. Put away the bow. There you go. Is, yeah, you can just pick flowers. Endlessly. There is a bunch of flowers around here. It does help. Um, with your herbalism skills. It gets your charisma up. There's also another skill that if you pick enough uh, Nicket, you get a permanent plus to, I think it's strength. I wonder if I can pick enough of that. So Nicket is like this green, it's basically a weed that you can uh, get up. And as your herbalism skill goes up, your radius of picking goes up. Obviously, yeah, there you go. Obviously, if you're on PC, there is a mod to take the animation off that you just go around and pick without Henry having to bend down and stand back up each time. But, you know, seeing as though we're on console, we're just going to be doing this the old-fashioned way by basically picking flowers. And if you want to do all that in between episodes, you definitely can. 
just going around picking picking up everything now obviously I don't recommend you sitting here all day and do this you can but seeing as though we're in the 14th 1400s there's plenty of plants to pick so in your free time if you just want to max out this or get a bunch of other things you can just easily do this anywhere there's flowers everywhere and it doesn't necessarily have to be done here in scallops but like I said if you want to do it it's there you can definitely do it don't know if we got anything yet hold on where is our herbalism nope working up to level three and we still didn't get the one buff that I want so let's pick a few more nicket or nettle around I should say I don't know why I wanted to call it a nicket that's a Pokemon. This is Nettle. This is a weed. And there we go. After picking enough uh, Nettle around, or is it? You've gained a permanent plus two to vitality because we're now resistant. I don't know why it's not telling me what it is, though. You get a permanent. Well, it's basically because you picked a bunch of Nettle, which is this stuff, you now have a plus two to vitality. So now our vitality is at five, which is nice. That can't go wrong with vitality. Alright. So, and again, you can just pick as many flowers as possible. I got all the way up to... What did I get up to? Level 4 of Herbalism. Which, there we go. That's, I couldn't find where the hell the buff was. You've collected such a quantity of poisonous herbs or nettle that you vitality is permanently increased to plus 2. So, because uh, Henry liked to pick poison flowers... Yeah. Alright. And now, we can do some bartering. I think this lady will take all of our random stuff that we have. I'm gonna clean out all the tra uh, all the traders before we go. So I'm gonna sell. I don't really need all these apples. Hey, can you give me all these apples? How much money does she have? She has 40. How much for all those apples? Oh, five. Rip. Well, I don't really need it. So it's seven, we're up to seven and a half. Here you can have this carrot too, all these carrots. There we go, get the lentil soup, onions. And just like that, she uh, bought all that stuff for us. Uh, what else can we sell? Oh, she actually won't buy all of our uh, uh, herbs that we did so let me check the basket you get did I hello I want... oh did I already sell it oh I think I did already whoops all right well no check the basket there's nothing in my basket oh yes there is what You have items in your basket. Do you really want to exit shop? It says I don't have any. Oh, there it is. Uh, I'm gonna haggle. Can we do something about the price? Sure, why not? So there's nothing that says that you shouldn't do this every single time. Obviously, haggling. She's gonna pay us twenty-seven and a half groschen. I'm gonna see if she can give us twenty-eight. You don't want to do too, anything too crazy, seeing as I have charisma of one. Nice Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. So she won't, but it'll still help us out with our uh, speech skill. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. So we just sold all of all those vegetables that we weren't going to use. I think this guy will buy all of our uh, weeds that we <laughs> picked. Good health to you. Thank you. Now let me see. Will you buy all of the stuff? I actually think he will. Oh, he will. Hello. All those net... 112 nettle? Will you buy all those? Of course you will, and you'll give me $11 for it. How about some sage? You gonna buy that too? Yeah. This random other Valeria? Yeah, there we go. So just from picking weeds, you know, it take it's time consuming, but you are getting some benefits. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna haggle, cause why not? Can haggle for uh, him paying me for why the weeds I picked. <laughs> Imagine just going out picking a bunch of weeds and be like, "Hey, buddy, can you give me 14 groschen for this?" That sounds pretty interesting. 
No, he still won't do it. All right. Don't want to be greedy. I'll go for that. And just like that, Henry went around and picked a bunch of flowers and currently have $52 for uh, everything. I still need to get the stuff back from uh, Kunesh, but we'll, we'll figure that out in a little bit. Hello, charcoal burner. I need some charcoal. I think I only need like five. I forget how many I need. Ten? I think it's ten. All right. So we'll go to the basket. That's only going to cost us six. I'm going to haggle. Just haggle with everybody. It doesn't really matter. If I can get it for a better price, I will. If not, yeah, it's not It's not the end of the world. So how about, how about, how about five and a half? Is this enough? That's not enough. Got a speech skill. Ooh, you'll do 5-8. All right. Well, that's a decent price. And yeah, we got... Why did I get a stealth skill? Why did I get increase in stealth for that? That's weird. No, oh, whatever. Hold on. Where is my stealth? Am I dumb? Combat. Skills. Yeah, why did I gain a stealth perk for that? Alright, whatever. And I up to level 2 of charisma, so that's pretty good. Alright. Alright. Try and get the axe and nails back another way. Huh? Wait. Wait, what? Getting the money for shopping was the hardest part, but in the end, I got charcoal. I met with the mercenary who's teaching me... What? How did I defeat Kunish? What? In the end, somebody broke a little help. It goes without saying, I have to go get Father Ale, blah, blah, blah. Getting the money for the shopping was the hardest part, but in the end, I ended up... Sh got the charcoal. Oh! Because I got enough money to get the charcoal, I didn't have to fight Kunej. Oh. Alright, well, that's... I, I didn't even realize you can do that, but yeah, I guess if you just get enough money to get the charcoal for, instead of beating up Kunesh, you can. Alright, and let's go see uh, what's going on with Bianca. Just to wrap up our first quest. You can't be serious, Lewis. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitor. Now even the Pope. Don't be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> Who do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. What can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? 
Two, I'm after you. You should give him a proper hiding. Yeah, are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some turns will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Saratik's sword. Come on. Throwing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? Sure, why not? Oh, well. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. <laughs> Lady just pushes me out of the way. She's like, get out of the way, assholes. All right. I'm going to follow our friends. We're going to do some mischief. As you do in the whatever it's century. Go around and throw shit at people's houses. His house is here on the right. I'm going to have to use my speech skill to get his wife away, though. What's the plan? So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. Alright, I am the clever one. Hello, lady. It's not really anything about being clever. I'm just gonna literally tell the truth. I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the popes. He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Well, and now with his wife running away, yeah, we can uh, do the deed. And a lost reputation, darn. Nothing like throwing poop balls at a house. What are you Jesus. Fire the trebuchet for king and country. The king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund. Woohoo! Eat shit, Dodgers. You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> I like how they just hey, suddenly man. came with a now cohort see, of people. We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Oh, sons! I'll make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this proxy Deutsche? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that! Could do with a bite to eat. <laughs> Probably not the right time, Henry. Can I actually hit him with an axe? Stop Wait, her. hold on. Fucking hold on. Hell. Yes, I know, arm combat. You'll Go away. Well ah! 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 
Oh, well, I guess because I fought with Kunish, this guy's not very good at fighting, I guess. Come on, buddy. God, how much friggin... Well, I can might as well work on my agility and stuff. Oh well. Ooh, that got me a strength. Yeah, these guys are immortal, so I can literally keep punching this guy until uh, the catch pole shows up. Oh, here he comes. Mishek, what are you doing? We don't have to run. Fuck off! Up, oh, I gotta run away. Hey, there's fellows beating each other over there. Do something about it. Oh no. Well, I better talk to the catch bowl or else I think I'll lose all of my stuff. Hold on. Hello, dude. Wait. Hey, I surrender. You. I surrender. I yield. What are you doing? For God's sake. Stop right now. The catch pole is on his way. Damn. Let's go. Run, you cowards. Anyway, I'm glad you came. All right, and we're going to run away this time because if you punch the guy too long, people get upset. And if you commit a crime, well, yeah, we're, we'd be in trouble because it's 80 Groshen and we do not have 80 Groshen. So now we're just going to run with our friends away and we're going to laugh about it. And that would be the end of the quest. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, I'll let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> oh, they just walk away? I could have swore they can help us out with some other stuff, but I guess not. Alright. I know there's a certain thing that you can do to have them help you fight Kunesh, but... Eh, I wonder if I can fight him again. Let's see. Hello, buddy. One beating wasn't... But you still owe my father. You'll get nothing from... I'm telling you, lay one finger on me and I'll have you thrown in jail. Oh, well, that's... That's blah. Alright, well... Now that we've done all that, we can get our thing of ale from Bianca. I guess now if we start a fight with Kunesh, we'd actually get thrown in jail, so we don't want to do that. Bianca, where are you? Hello. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? You do. See, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir, I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And, apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? A uh, pitcher for my father. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye, bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Welcome, Henry. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Some of the animations are so awkward. <laughs> this evening, I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty-looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya. I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing on his wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. How? I've got 
something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favourite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. <laughs> Ooh, ha la la. And she gives us some more Shaver Schnapps, so you can find those three that are in the beginning of the game in your living room, but there's some more here as well. Henry's kind of getting hungry and he started getting annoying with me, so hopefully I can eat from that pot by our dad's house, parent's house, whatever. Alright, well, now that we've uh, seen pretty much everything we wanted to, I've shown off a lot of the skills that you can just grind up if you really wanted to. But I think for now, let's just get on to finishing up this quest and getting on with the rest of the game. Hello, Father. About those things you wanted. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? Yipper. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sasal did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good, and fire up the forge, we'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well, and having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the King. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? <laughs> the boy gets caught making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. The furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. 
And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. <laughs> and we actually already have those nails. And um, if you've played this game, you know we're going to be getting into some cutscenes that are rather lengthy and have a lot of story and a lot of stuff upcoming. And before we talk to Teresa, I think we're, that's where we're going to wrap up with today's episode. Go I hope you guys enjoyed. Death. All right. <laughs> Our father's very angry with me and I'm stuck. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. In the next episode, a whole bunch of stories going to happen. So I hope you're excited for that and excited to get our adventure here with Henry going. Like I said, Scallet is a very good tutorial town that'll give you a little hodgepodge of things you can do from armory to swords to herbalism to stealth to knocking people out. So there's a lot of stuff you can do. There are videos out there that if you want to basically leave here maxed out, you definitely can. But I think with the, some stats that we've gained, I think that's good enough for us to continue the game and have a very good Kingdom Come Deliverance experience. But until then, I have been Adam, this has been HMO4 Gaming, and this has been Kingdom Come Deliverance. Thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day. <laughs>